Luke ten, twenty-five through forty-two. Defining neighbor. Just then, a religion scholar stood up with a question to test Jesus. Teacher, what do I need to do to get eternal life? He answered, What's written in God's law? How do you interpret it? He said. That you love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and muscle and intelligence, and that you love your neighbor as well as you do yourself? Good answer, said Jesus. Do it, and you'll live. Looking for a loophole, he asked, And just how would you define neighbor? Jesus answered by telling a story. There was once a man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way, he was attacked by robbers. They took his clothes, beat him up, and went off, leaving him half dead. Luckily, a priest was on his way down the same road, but when he saw him, he angled across to the other side. Then a Levite religious man showed up. He also avoided the injured man. A Samaritan, traveling the road, came on him. When he saw the man's condition, his heart went out to him. He gave him first aid, disinfecting and bandaging his wounds. Then he lifted him onto his donkey, led him to an inn, and made him comfortable. In the morning he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take good care of him. If it costs any more, put it on my bill. I'll pay you on my way back. What do you think? Which of the three became a neighbor to the man attacked by robbers? The one who treated him kindly, the religion scholar responded. Jesus said, Go and do the same. Mary and Martha As they continued their travel, Jesus entered a village. A woman by the name of Martha welcomed him and made him feel quite at home. She had a sister, Mary, who sat before the master, hanging on every word he said. But Martha was pulled away by all she had to do in the kitchen. Later she stepped in, interrupting him. Master, don't you care that my sister has abandoned the kitchen to me? Tell her to lend me a hand. The master said, Martha, dear Martha, you're fussing far too much and getting yourself worked up over nothing. One thing only is essential, and Mary has chosen it. It's the main course, and won't be taken from her.